Hello guys and welcome back. So today I'm bringing you a build order for the Mongols. This one is a Morley Drush is what I'm calling it. So <laughs> it's essentially a version of the 14 minute step Lancer Rush, which I jokingly decided to name the Morley Rush. Um, but with a, a two militia Drush attached to it. So it's actually a 25 plus two uh, build order. So 25 population plus two uh, in the feudal age. Uh, build order which uh, gets you up to the castle age at about 15 minutes so it's a little bit slower it's like 50 seconds slower than the uh, Morley Drush, uh, Morley Rush the uh, straight FC build uh, but a little bit uh, I don't know we could say it's better well it's probably not better I don't know it's a bit safer perhaps if you're good at drushing uh, but the build order is uh, six on sheep as we can see we're using the uh, crafty salamander build order overlay uh, I've coded up this uh, build order for that and uh, then we're going on to the four on four on wood so uh, pretty much standard stuff it doesn't vary too much for the uh, fast castle build actually so slight variation but nothing major um so four on wood as we're as we're doing now but um the good thing about this one is um obviously with the normal step lancer build you're kind of expecting to take a bit of damage You've kind of just got to accept that you're going to get a lot of pressure um, whilst you're advancing to the castle age. Now this one, the idea is that you've got your militia down there delaying the opponent. So causing some damage, putting him off, delaying him, ruining his uptimes, um, potentially delaying walls being built, and uh, also potentially keeping his army in his base for a little bit longer. So it's a bit safer in that respect. You shouldn't have as much pressure on you. Uh, whilst you're advancing to the castle So now we've got the uh, four on wood, we're going to send one over to Lure a Boar. And you want to start pushing your deer at this point. So um, with this particular map, I'm playing it on runestones, so it's four deer. I'm only going to do three because that's what you get in Arabia. Uh, you want to get your deer in as soon as possible because we do need all three of them. So next village you come out is going to make two houses and then go to berries. And then we're going to send another three over to berries. But yeah, we want to get those uh, deer in sooner rather than later, and it's quite important that we do that. So even you know even sooner than we would in the straight fast castle build, and because we're going to need the scout, he's going to need to go and find where the enemy base is. So if you're taking too long with pushing the deer, you're going to have your militia, and you're not going to know where to go, where to target. So it's really important that we get those deer in uh, pretty quickly. So one more run to berries and then the next villager to come out from there is going to go to wood and you probably want to start looking at taking one of these existing villages to uh, lure the boar if you've not got enough deer in at this point the next villager to wood and then the next villager to come out from then is going to go and make a barracks and then go to wood so as you can see we've got the third deer being pushed in now so we've not needed to get that uh, second boar just yet because we've got managed to get all the deer in but we will be getting that second ball so there's the villager is going to come out and make a barracks not quite there we go got enough wood now come on and then once we've got the uh barracks being made we're going to send another two villagers over to berries so we're actually going to have six on berries uh, which again is quite good in the fact that your berries will be depleted quicker so they're not going to be quite as vulnerable hopefully uh, when an attack comes in because all your berries would have been used up. Might not be the case. <laughs> it might not be the case, depending on what uh, your strategy your opponent's going for and how well your drush has gone. Uh, but now we've got the two on berries, we're going to send another two new villagers over to wood. Uh, we're making the two, are we making the two militia? We should be making the two militia. Come on. Bit of a delay there, not the best. I'm not very good at drushing. But we should be making two militia. We've made another house there as well with that builder is uh, going to go over to wood. We've got the two on the wood there, came out the TC. And we're going to send another one from the main wood line over with them. And we're going to get a second lumber camp down. So we're going to have two lumber camps, so we've got a bit more efficiency with our lumber in this build. And the final three villages are going to go over to gold. There we go, militia's on its way. We're going to send those forward with the scout. 
quite a bit of bed delay there because I, <laughs> I was a bit delayed in making them. But yeah, I'm not very good at drushing. I'm not gonna lie. But I have oh dear. Where's that where's that mining camp? Um I have uh, been able to um I think I think I've done three games, last two videos, two wins, and I've I've lost once. So it's not been heavily tested. Uh, as you can see, we did make a farm. I probably should have delayed that until the mining camp was up. It was a bit of an error. But we do want to get a farm down at this point. Uh, we've just researched Loom, and we've now clicked up to the feudal age. So whilst we're advancing, we will take another uh, couple of villages off of the sheep, get another couple of farms down where we can. As you can see, we're harassing the enemy wood lines there. It is only against the AI. But uh, as I say, uh, I've got uh, last two videos on the channel we're demonstrating this I'll link one of them to the end of this foot one so you can see it in action in ranked and as you can see we're just getting those forms down so yeah I do think the uh, benefit from this is pretty good in terms of delaying the enemy um, attack and also delaying the walls what you might find though is with the drush as soon as they see it you might be able to harass a wood line but everything else ordinarily uh, a human player would have you know, walled around, walled, walled the resources in basically, so you wouldn't be able to do much more with your drush, but just keep them in the base being annoying. Uh, eventually they'll make an army and try and kill off your drush. Uh, but the good thing about that is if they've had to wall around the resources, it means they've not fully walled the base, so you can get in with the lancers. So now we've hit the uh, feudal age, we are going to instantly make a sabre and blacksmith. And two villagers that come out of there are going to go over to the gold so regarding the uh, build order overlay uh, if you become a channel member you do get copies of these all of the ones that I've got so far uh, for uh, for the channel there's only about 10 once I've got more I'll probably start splitting them up a bit uh, but at the moment you do get all of them as a perk and um, for, for any tier as well as uh, build orders uh, PDFs Dependent on your tier, so you'll get more PDFs depending on the tier. But for every tier, you get all of the crafty salamander ones. There's a little perk. So on the way up, uh, we're going to take three off of berries, make some farms that so just sort of delay that final berry bush a little bit. Uh, the remaining sheep villages have gone onto straggler trees, but we'll just start adding farms with those as well uh, when we can. Whilst we're advancing, we do want to be researching bloodlines that will come in very very soon. Just so that by the time we hit the uh, castle age, we've got bloodlines. There we go, that's on its way in. You may even be able to um, get double bit axe on your way up as well. Possibly. I, I did lay it in this build um, example. I do, it doesn't take long to get it once you're all, but I do delay it a little bit. Just so we can focus on getting the uh, step lances out, but you might be able to get away with uh, getting it on your way up. Obviously, we're going to want to get some houses down. You can see, we're making one up here by the wood line. We'll probably make another, another one or two, as well whilst we're at it. Um, all, so all those sheep villages are now on farms, and we're going to gradually start filtering these berry villages onto farms as well. Uh, so we'll end up with a total of 13 farms. They only need 15 to maintain step lances of production and villager production. So we're pretty much there. And uh, that's essentially what your new villages from the town centre will be doing. They'll be uh, just going straight onto farms. Um, and as I say, it won't take long before you've got enough wood, uh, food, to be able to uh, get double bit axe. I probably could do it now. I've got a couple of uh, lances queued up, a couple of villages. I probably could have got it now. Uh, and then in terms of horse collar, just get that when you can, really. But that's pretty much as far as the build goes at this point. We just need to start adding more village, um, more lances in. Keep adding more farms. You'll probably be able to get you get up to 20 farms. Uh, I always think that's a nice safe number. And then you can start getting your blacksmith upgrades uh, quite nicely. Uh, and any other upgrades that you might want. Wait till you get about four or five, maybe even six lances uh, and go forward. Uh, probably four uh, Especially if your enemy's not walled up the, full, the base fully at this point. Um, if they've just re uh, walled around the resources, yeah, just send four forward. You'll be fine. You'll be able to get through the, 
uh, walls at some point. But that is it for this one guys. Uh, so on the screen now there should be a video of me doing this in the rank 1v1 so do check it out. The only question that remains is would this be better as a slightly later build with two stables. We shall see. Thanks guys, see you on the next one.